How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today we're going to fix the Oliver for free. Hey, we're going to do all the free things that we can on this Oliver today, right? But I wanted to do this intro after I worked on it today because there's a lot of things happening in this video that you need to stick around for. Just to tell you what we're going to do is going to drain the fluids and we're going to take apart some of the tractor. However, there's some things that happened during the course of letting it dry some phone calls were made, some research was done. So we tell you about that in the video. So make sure you watch it because, you know, you may ask a question in the video and be like, hey, why didn't you try this? Or, you know, you can do this to get the same result. Well, stick around for the video because we may have done that. And we had a really cool surprise while I was waiting for it to dry that now I don't have to buy a certain part because someone texted me about it. And so it's cool. So make sure you watch it all. You guys got barn cats. Do you guys put out ceramic bowls for your barn cat food? We've been using this liquid wrench stuff about, well, since we brought it home and I've just been laying it to the screws here. I just want to get everything, everything that's got a screw has been getting penetrating oil on it. I just think this is going to help me in the long run. About out on this, this bottle here. I'm like, literally, I, I don't know what I'm going to take off, but I'm making sure it's all lubricated for sure. now that we've got everything lubricated. I've been doing this for about a week now, I guess, maybe somewhere around in there. So we're gonna pull it out first, take the hood off of it, and then soak it down with some degreaser and let that set for a minute, wash the engine, and then start draining all the fluids out of it. So that's what we're gonna do now. This is, this, I can't keep from smiling. <laughs> now that we've got it out, I'll take the hood off of it so that I can access the engine compartment easier, get it sprayed down with some degrees or foam, get to it. I'll take a 7 16th wrench and socket, be able to take this top off right here, then I can see what the whole engine looks like. That's going to be a pretty cool reveal, too, don't you think, Jim? Yep. It is a cool little tractor, isn't it? That's cool how, how the hood is indented around those bolts on purpose. When I first saw the first one, I thought somebody had beat it in or something. But it's... I have a feeling this project's going to take a lot of patience on your part. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Maybe I need to learn patience, right? Maybe this is why God gave us this gift, right? <laughs> patience is a virtue. Yeah. All right, there's two down. Halfway there. Is that, a, is that a yellow jacket I see flying around? I hope there's not a nest under that hood. There's, actually, there's actually two yellow jackets. There might be a nest under there. Whoa! I will stand back here just in case. Oh, I need to drop the camera and run. Listen, you know, <laughs> you know me and Wash. I know, but I, I you know, there's yellow jackets flying around. I'm, mm -mm. <laughs> they're, they're coming out of the hood. I'll be careful. Yeah, have fun with that. I'll be careful from back here. Whoop, whoop, he's on, he's on your arm. <laughs> have you ever been stung by a bunch of yellow jackets? I have. It is not fun. Whoa. Okay, I'm out. Ready for the big reveal? <laughs> you just make sure there's no yellow jacket nest, yeah. and then I'll get I, I closer. Listen, if y'all see me pick this thing up, drop and run, there's one right there. I, there's more than one. Yeah. All right, I'm a little right. nervous, a little nervous. Here we go. I was very anticlimactic. <laughs> it's just the gas tank or something, right? Yeah. Let's look at where these bees are. So basically, the engine was already revealed. <laughs> we revealed the gas tank. Woohoo! I saw a 
something run out from under oh, me. Oh, there's one on your back. Hey, you know what they say? Nothing teaches you karate faster than yellow jackets, man. There's the gas tank, folks. <laughs> so I'll drain that today. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. Some people were talking about the carburetor, rebuilding the carburetor. So I'll take that off eventually and let it sit. Looking good so far. Now that we've got the top off of it, I'll use this gunk all-purpose degreaser foam, heavy-duty foam. You know we're liquid wrench gunk fans around here. And spray everything. I'm going to let it sit. And then after it sets a while, I'll wash it off with water. So I have a question for you. What you got? You're spraying this degreaser on here and you said you were going to wash it off? Yeah. Is that okay to wet all that stuff? Yeah, ain't no problem with that. You can actually pressure wash. I don't have a pressure washer, but you can actually pressure wash it and be fine. Like all those wires and stuff? Yeah, all, so all this is getting replaced, right? I'm going to buy a new... Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. That makes sense. It'll be plenty dry for when we get ready to work on it. You know what I mean? We're mm -hmm. just cleaning it now. Now that it's been sitting a while, let's get it rinsed off a little bit. See what we're working with under here. Get all these dirt daubers nest out of here. I think that looks a little more presentable. We got most of the dirt off of it. Somebody had painted this blue earlier. Like my glove I stuck in my starter slot there. Got most of that off the oil bath on the air filter on the other side. You can see some green paint again. Pretty cool. So we're gonna let this sit for a minute, let it dry up, and then we're gonna drain all the fluids out of it. That'll be our next step. I'm still waiting on this thing to dry, but I'm definitely gonna have to replace some of the radiator parts here. Look at that, that's pretty nasty. There's the cap, the cap's got, <laughs> cap's got a hole in it. You can see down here, super rusty. This this piece right here, where you can see here, it actually it actually moves. I don't know if it's supposed to move or what. Let's see, right here. So I, it's some type of float maybe. So if you know what that is in the radiator, let me know in the comments. It looks like I, and that might be some type of pressure relief right there, but. I'm definitely, I'm thinking I'm going to have to replace the radiator. Let's see what it looks like on the outside. Oh, see the fins. I'll have to take the grill off of that. But the wiring, the wire mesh in front is torn, obviously. But, I mean, that's not a big deal. I'm looking at the fins. I'm trying to see. I can't really see the fins from where I'm at. So, once I take this decorative grill off, I'll be able to tell a little more about the radiator. Can't tell much. The fins look good on this side. From here, it looks okay. But this right here, ugh. <laughs> I mean that's just plum nasty. I don't know I don't know what to do about that except replace it. Let me ask you guys this. Do I replace the radiator or just get a new cap and I answer? And uh, here's another question for you guys. How do you clean all that rust and stuff from inside the radiator to keep it from flowing? Once I add water, I don't want all that rust and all that junk that's in the radiator to flow into the engine compartment. So how do you prevent that from happening? How do you clean a radiator? I guess my assumption is I'll have to take it out, dip it, in, you know, clean it in a solution uh in a, like a bath of some sort and then go from there and once maybe that takes care of it and that does you know does some type of rust protection on it or something like that i don't know that's my assumption but i'll have to dip it in a a container that the whole radiator submerges in and then let it set clean up all that rust clean up all the loose debris and then dip it out let it air dry or maybe blow dry it i'm not sure or buy a new radiator anyway let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about the whole radiator process because that kind of concerns me a little bit i don't want all that crap into the engine fuel tank looks pretty good here's the fuel bowl so what we'll do is we'll take this off let it drain from here or you probably could let it drain from there so that's just water that's not fuel i don't think there's any fuel in it whatsoever so we'll drain the fuel from there and then of course the oil and stuff is underneath the the engine and the oil pan we'll go ahead and take this sediment bowl off here turn the fuel supply off with this here that way it doesn't come out when you take this off anyway i'm, I'm not going to tell y'all how to do this because you guys are the smart ones here but I'll just loosen this up. Some people take these off. Some people take some people take these all the way off. Some people just move them out of the way. Now let's try to do this without killing ourselves here, without breaking the bowl. It just should just slide. Wow. You don't want to cut yourself. So I probably should put gloves on. Hold on a second. I think I will take this off. Give me a little more room. That just pops off like so. I'll set it off to the side. Try to be real gentle with this. Hmm. I'll have to look online for some tips and tricks to get that loosened up a little bit. Maybe some penetrating oil. Really, I just kind of worked with it a little more. I just kind of kept messing with it a little bit. 
and messing with it and now it just came right off so just be patient with it so now i'll put, clean this up and put this back on yeah look here fellas this fuel tank's bone dry so i ain't gotta i gotta clean up there look at there don't you hate when the light don't work for you I gotta clean that up probably need to put a new looks like there's an o-ring up there of some sort maybe a rubber gasket probably will replace that probably just better off to replace this this whole sediment bowl <laughs> look at the it looks like coffee in there my goodness we'll see I'll, I'll look online to see if it's easier just to replace this or just to clean it out I, I used a rag in there and that that's pretty hardcore in there so i'm gonna use my gunk instant this is <laughs> this is turned into a gunk commercial but i promise these people don't pay me to make videos i promise i just like your stuff that's all hey -oh. let it sit in there for a minute parts cleaner and degreaser fast blast it says like I say, not sponsored, but really like their products. And to be honest with you guys, you know, I only say the name brand of the stuff I use because a lot of people in the comment sections ask, hey, what was that, you know, spray cleaner you were using? Or, hey, what was that wrench you were using? Or, what was that grapple you were using? So I just say the name brand of it. That doesn't imply that I'm sponsored by any of this stuff. I just want people to know what I'm using and they can choose to use it too. Make sense? All right, let that, we'll let that sit for a minute. All right, I got this sitting here now. And we will let that sit for a few minutes. Man, yeah, you should smell this stuff. It's like varnish. It's crazy. So we're still waiting for a little bit to dry, but I just remembered something. Some of you guys had asked about the serial number, so let me show it to you. This serial number is 150007, and then underneath it is 8011-518. You just have to take my word for it, but... So that's the serial number. I'll go look up online about what what that correlates to okay it's been a few hours now and a lot has happened in that few hours number one i got a text from the original well i shouldn't say the original owner i got a text from the owner that i acquired the tractor from and he said that he has the owner's manuals and the parts manuals so i'm gonna go pick that up soon this week probably maybe next week but i've got the manuals for it so that's awesome and the second thing is i placed an order for this dewalt 49 piece mechanics tool set i don't know a week or two ago somewhere around i don't remember exact date but uh it came in the mail today so i'll be able to use it on my tractor so now we're going to drain the oil so the oil drain plug is an inch and an eight so i've got an inch and an eight socket here i want to show y'all something though this is maybe an inspection window or something i'm not sure what that is but this is underneath transmission and up in here Oh my goodness, fellas, there's all kind of trash and whatnot up there, probably all kind of nests. Um, I'm, I'm curious to see how the, the transmission is going to be, or if I'm going to need to clean it or something. But let's get this plug off. The plug is right here. We'll take it off, drain it, and put new oil in it sometime soon. I don't know how how much this takes but we'll see now that that's about completely drained we'll go ahead and drain the hydraulic fluid as well all right we got the oil drain let's check the hydraulic fluid see what it looks like here oh, loose enough taking off this cap here all right it's empty Whew, I mean, I'm talking empty Hey, I got a question for you guys. Here's the thing about this kind of stuff, right? Can I look it up online and figure it out with the and wait until I get the owner's manuals and the part manuals? You bet I could. But this is a this is a us project, right? This is this is me and you, man. We're doing this, right? You're gonna help us get this thing back in working condition. So that's why we're asking some of these questions that we can just simply find the answer to online. Not that I'm lazy and don't want to research it, but I want to involve you guys because you're you're the reason what, that we exist. The community is why we exist. So I've got a question for you. What is this? So if I take it off, it's nothing. It doesn't appear to be any type of function to it it's just a hole that goes into this gearbox and that's something rubber underneath it so i'm not sure what this is it sits on the right side of the tractor on top of the differential gear here underneath where the hydraulic fluid is let me know in the comments underneath your seat you've got your hydraulic filter uh, it's, it's spring loaded that's an inch and five eighths to so take that off that's actually water under there from where we washed it earlier but you take this off and you can see a little bit of oil there but anyway, so let me drain what's left of this hydraulic fluid and go from there. 
underneath the drain pan, you have three plugs. You have this one, this one, one, two, and three back there in the back. My assumption is you can pull any of them off. I'm just going to take a half inch extension here, put it up in here, and that will take that drain plug out. Stand by. I get to try out my brand new DeWalt half inch drive ratchet. Okay, the only one I could get broke loose was this one back here in the back. So I'll try this one. Uh-oh. That's pure water. Ugh. See all that water dripping out of there first? That ain't good, is it? All right, so we've got it back underneath the pole barn. Let's just recap what we've done today. We have drained the oil. We have drained the hydraulic fluid. We didn't have to drain the water or the gas because there was none in it. But we did look at the sediment bowl. So check this out. Only after a few hours, look how clean that's already getting. It looked like varnish when we started, right? So I'll let that set some more. I've been refilling the bowl with this gunk stuff, taking it and maybe cleaning it out with a rag or something about every 30 minutes, every hour, and it's already getting better. So I think that we're going to be able to salvage this fuel bowl, this fuel sediment bowl. So I'll get some parts ordered. I've got some questions online. We talked about that serial number earlier, so I'm looking forward to reading your comments about the serial number. But I'll get some parts ordered, and we'll maybe probably start on the fuel system. Maybe the carb and the fuel filter and the fuel sediment bowl. That seems to be the easiest thing, and then we'll progress from there. Hey, listen, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, there's going to be this little white circle right here. Click on that to subscribe. Underneath it is the day we actually kind of did a walk around of the Oliver. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. We learned a lot from that video, all because of viewers like you. Okay, you guys take care. Hey, God bless you guys. We're praying for your safety during these uncertain times. I know everybody's freaked out about the corona or the COVID-19 stuff. We're praying for you guys. All right, you guys take care.